Hello and welcome back to another Uncle Roger video. So today we are looking at Uncle Roger hit British TV fur. Gonna be fucking disastrous, right? So don't delay. Let's watch. Let's see the excitement in this video. All right. This morning is British daytime talk show, and recently they have chef on there making fur high uh, Asian cooking on British TV. You know this is gonna be disaster. Just just oh. look at the title. Ten minutes fur fur take hour to make. Ten minutes and fur are words that don't belong together. Just like the words Jamie Oliver and chef. Ha! Emotional damage. This video is sponsored. Just a thing. You're making a superfood soup today. A super, a super, super food soup. Super opening super, shot already. Super, not super what? Good. Super not food soup. Not a single soup. pot for broth, and she got two frying pan. Hi. <laughs> Uncle Roger never see anyone make fur with frying pan. It's because you're making fur, fur, you have the soup, right? So where, where, how, how are you gonna make the soup? Like there's no soup. Unless he's gonna use a frying pan to make one. So not gonna be surprised, right? It only takes ten. Pronouncing it wrong. So easy. Not fo. It's fo. Fur. I'm doing it with steak, which is traditional what they do it in Vietnam. Mm. But you could do it with chicken. You could do it with prawns or tofu or whatever you like. Wait, wait, huh? wait! No, cannot be whatever you like. Yeah. There are rules to this shit. Uh, <laughs> so any red meat uh, nowadays, and that's really so. Is it nice? Oh, do you a love it? Treat. It's oh, yeah. Yeah. Not everything you know, must be using Actually, I don't eat an awful lot of red meat anymore either. Do you, Holly? This is white people's favorite topic. Dietary restriction. You ever uh, hang out with your yeah. white friend? When you go get dinner, that all they talk about. I cannot eat this, I cannot eat that. Ah, uh, yeah, that is white people culture. Sensitive and dinner. allergic no, to bullshit. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't actually. Wait, I don't either, huh? and I can't what's she doing that? with the beef? A little treat, but what I will say is anybody is making a Is she oiling the beef? Is she making so a steak? I just crave it sometimes. Is she putting salt, pepper and oil on the steak? No. I mean like... For fur, you either cook the meat with the broth yeah. or you braise it in the pot. Is like, she gonna she put cook, this on fire? She cook pan? it first. And then, um, what are you all laughing at? Nothing. Okay, take your steak or any piece of meat out oh. of the fridge about at least a half an hour before you're going to... Is she to gonna do it? what I think she's gonna do? It comes out of the fridge, it's all tense like this and then when it's out... Okay, if you are ready to cook already, you're supposed to put the meat into the dish already, right? I don't think taking out from the fridge, fr fr fridge in like half an hour is enough. It's still, still going to be hard as rock. You know? Tense, your meat tense, Uncle Roger asshole tense, I think you're gonna fuck up. Yep. And get your pan No. hot. As you can. Not pan. I use a huh? griddle pan at home sometimes, but most people just have a frying pan, so that's great. No, no, so don't, don't, no. <laughs> you want that wow, sizzling that's... straight away? Just grab right away. You hear sizzling? I hear my ancestor crying. crying. Uncle Roger's so upset, I put my leg down from chair. You don't sizzle steak okay, like cut this. It to, this is cut it those, like, not slices. Our steak house high. Then you put yeah. it into the fur. You want that sizzle mm. straight away? Uh, Just making the meat making first. Steak like this. Are you gonna pair it with French fry or something? Like steak and fry? Yeah. I, think she's making yeah. Asian I thought she's gonna make those kind of dish. You know, the steak and French fries and potato crap. Now she's fusing Vietnamese with depression. <sighs> so one minute on each side, and then don't turn it. I'm always tempted to turn it, and then season it. Then again, when it goes. Se -se season again. The broth. How many times you want to season your steak? Like four times now. Four like how you want to put so much MSG into your food. Four season is name of hotel, not recipe for fur. And then onto the broth. So yep. this is like the heart of the yes, pose. Yes, uh -huh. make that. Okay. Yeah. Broth. <coughs> I'm <coughs> sorry. She said that correct. Beef broth here, but you could use chicken, you could vegetarian. If but then you don't show us how you make your broth. So you just that, that's the broth. With the finished broth, but it's the most important thing. Yeah. Show us. Oh, I know why she can't make the broth. Because she got no pot. Oh yeah, See, true. The broth she just steal from Vietnamese restaurant down mm -hmm. the street. You spend more time sizzling your she, steak. She's like, she... hey, I go to a random restaurant. It's like, hey, can you make the pho soup thing for me? Because I don't know how to make one. Ha ha ha. And I need it for like right now because there's a cooking show I have to shoot. 
showing us how to make broth. Hi, yeah. Why like that? She at first she screwed up as well. And I put in a teaspoon of sugar. Sugar, correct. To be honest, at home most of the time I actually use honey because we have honey. Honey. Have our own honey at home. Huh? No, don't use honey. Who you the hell? Psycho. Okay, okay. I know the fact that oh, I gave it sugar. You know, don't use that. Use honey. It's more healthier for you. Not every food do that. Hello. Not everything works with honey. I know it's a substitute for sweet in your drinks. I mean, or maybe some food. I don't know. But like, not a lot of fur. Oh my god, this is so fucking stupid. So sometimes I'll put in mostly honey in there. And then huh? I've got gorgeous fresh ginger to give it that Gin lovely zen. Huh? Like that. <sighs> ginger correct. But first of all, you need to char it first. Wait, and I, you okay. put ginger is in that... full broth as whole piece of ginger. You don't mince your ginger and put oh, it's it in minced. there. Oh, okay. it's minced. I thought it's like a ginger that is like ginger. the juice Hiya, of the ginger or something. That? You need to liquid. roast your ginger and roast your onion. If you forget to roast ginger and onion, Uncle Roger gonna roast you. And then star anise I also put in, okay. which gives that star anise correct. I think she has star anise. Love. Mm. Um, I love it so much. But if you didn't have that or you can't find it, don't worry. The ginger is important. But you're just putting one. Who gonna taste it? Damn. One. That's even worse than uh, who's that? The Jamie Oliver with three chicken. Uh, the, the green chili. Holy crap. The sugar is important. And I think everybody has a cinnamon stick, and you only need cinnamon to good. Let me okay. turn over my steak. And this is how you want it. You want it seared. You want it crispy. Crispy. Give it a little. You want Hiya, it seared, everything has to be crispy. crispy. No, 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 no crispy steak. No. no. Why have you ever have fur with crispy beef in it? No need to have crunch in there. I, I don't know. I don't know. I seen like TikToks of people making uh, Gordon Ramsay memes. Like, is this food crispy? I was like. Is that a meme now? If your fur have crunch, then you need to be punched. That's yep. what Uncle Roger say. Um, and then one minute on each side. That's medium rare. If you want it to be more well done, two to three minutes on each side. Which still doesn't take away from your minutes. Okay, back to the spices. I also put uh, Okay, I mean... Basically, now you cook it, then you put it in a the fur, then it's going to be overcooked anyway, so... And a few cloves in here. Clove, and okay. And nampla. Which is fish sauce. Fish sauce, good. Mm. But wait, like that that much for powerful. That's you a lot. Putting too much fish sauce. Damn. So little I mean, broth, you pour that. Is she? I mean, yeah, it's true that you use your feeling, but this is the wrong feeling. That much in the horrible uh, smell. It's, it's it's nice when it's in a dish. Yes, oh, yeah. why people but allergic to fish sauce? Being sauce in the dish is horrible. Yeah. So it it, it is actually, off, yeah. You know, I'm so used like to that. smelling it. What is that black liquid? When it's in there. What the hell did you just want tell people? You can't just pour mysterious black liquid on cooking show and don't tell That's what it is. That's a black what is she witchcraft concoction inside. Are you trying inside? to poison us? Do you work for KGB or something? Uncle Roger guessing. That black liquid there soy is sauce. soy sauce. And that wrong again, hi. Uh... And yeah, then probably. onto the noodles yeah. over here. So these are um, Vietnamese rice noodles. They're okay. gorgeous. Okay, noodle look correct. And this you is the right noodles. noodles you want okay. to. No, you cannot use no. any noodles. <laughs> You, you can't, can't just use, use anything. The world has rules, woman. Not just any Okay, for example, if you go to uh if you are, if you own a restaurant, right? A Vietnamese game, a Vietnamese guy came in and ordered fur. If you make like okay, mi kuning, I don't know what you guys call it, like just just no normal noodles, right? And then you just like you serve it and say you call this fur. Yeah, you're gonna get a slap with the slippers on the face right away. Oh my god. It's like, yeah, okay, people ordered something, for example, right? I want bihun, I want um, mi goreng. But you give the different shit to enemy, enemy, to people. Do you think that's right? Do you think people not complain? Oh my god, okay, why am I so, t I'm so angry today, holy shit. Anything go, can we remove the word any from Asian <laughs> cooking? Noodle is not pasta. Yeah, you can't exactly. just change it out for another shape. They all make of different things for different dishes. Yeah, it's okay, it's like pasta as well. Like is for example, okay, I want pasta, right? And you say you want uh okay, spaghetti. But you serve someone's fettuccine. That's two different shape itself, alright? So okay. Just 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 continue. Just I uh 
I've pre-soaked these for pre okay. hot water, and then I'm going to pop them into the broth here. Not into broth. Don't make no. Dough you put the no, broth. Your put starch the... gonna dirty your broth. Simmer it. Yeah. Soak up everything. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm not um, like when I'm at home. Yeah. I, do, I do generally cook every single night at home. This woman tried to cook Maggie. Hiya. <gasps> I really go to restaurants actually. But I have no wonder you don't know. Go out to restaurant more. Yeah. Stop cooking at home. Yeah, if man. You're bad at cooking. Stop cooking. You're not mm -hmm. getting better. You're making the same mistake at home over and over. Nobody tell you you fucked up. Exactly. Go to restaurant. See how they cook. Learn from them. Then you go home and cook. Please stop cooking. Go eat at restaurant before you go on TV. Um. Do you all need to know that? <laughs> Take the noodle out now. But Take it out. Easy. When your noodle pre soak already, just cook it for two seconds. Yeah, especially these kinds of the noodles, right? You say pre soaked, like, usually it takes only, already a couple of minutes, right? And it's basically almost cooked. And now you cook it more. So, is it gonna be like way too soft? Probably. Three seconds max. Don't cook so long. It's gonna get soggy. Yeah, soggy. Yeah, that's what yeah. I word. Yeah. When are you gonna bring that to a restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. Stop <laughs> laughing. For the weekend of my mom and oh, we Stop chit chatting. <laughs> what was I talking about? You were I talking know. about. Don't stop. You got rice noodles. Harry taking you out. Save the noodle. Save the noodle. Your mum. Where the lifeguard? How did I say your mum? The noodle. He drowning. What we cooking? You were talking about rice noodles say. absorbing the flavour of the stock. Savour the stock. <sighs> What I, I want to know about the food. Oh, take the noodle out. Uncle Roger know why it called immune boosting first soup now. Because the food so- But I want to be bullshit immune. I uh... So toxic for your body. Your body gonna fight it. Now, I don't always have these noodles. Sometimes I'll have like egg noodles or I'll have vermicelli noodles or whatever noodles I have. And it doesn't matter. Oh. It doesn't matter. Just pop them in. And they all kind of take the same amount no. of time. No! Uh, huh? Did she just say every noodle takes the same time? Does she cook? ever cook? What universe this woman live on? So you think all this noodle? Yeah, all yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, you see, if you're all okay, I just get what I mean, right? So basically, for example, you go to a Japanese restaurant, you get a udon, right? They give you freaking soba. Soba literally size different, color different, taste different. Like if you're the customer, you're gonna be like, mm, mm, right? So. Yeah. It takes same time to cook. This is the food version of thumb and thumper. <laughs> <laughs> oh Roger, my god! This since my ex-wife Auntie Helen. Jesus. Same amount of time to cook. It's usually about four minutes. Do you minutes. cook from a recipe at home, or it's just all in your in head? In your never. head. I never all in your head. I'm always doing a clear out. Yeah. I like. Maybe I knew you it. should start following recipe. Exactly. Why are you so proud of yourself for fucking up? Oh my lord! She really okay? She thought like, oh my god, it's fun. It's just me and some food inside. No one cares the recipe, how long to go, how are you, what are you supposed to use? She doesn't care. I'm so taking mad. Taking everything out from the fridge and, and everything going. from the store. So going creative. like, I've got some tinned tomatoes, I've got this. So it's like this, ready, and, steady, cook. And then I let it rest um, just for a couple of minutes. But because. The stick resting more than all our Vietnamese ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> We were going straight. Okay, so, okay, that looks that nice. Is what you want, That's not, you like not what you like want on the fur. No, not if it in fur. Absolutely. I don't like it like that. I want to put a steak in there. Totally, yeah. And oh. just change the broth no. to. Yeah. Okay, it's not. You're not putting steak on it. You're putting slices of beef, beef, beef on it. Okay, so beef. Yeah, beef. Yeah. To what you're actually going to do? So, for example, no I broth here. So yummy. I use beef broth here. What she just do? What did Smell she it? just do? Did you see that? So yummy. I use beef broth. Is, is she smelling the noodle to check if the noodle done? <laughs> okay. So if you want to if you want to see the noodle is done, right? It's very easy, right? Uh, if you put it on the bowl, I mean, just in case you guys don't know, lah. You put it on the bowl, right? I mean, like, not slightly like gently put on it. I mean, I mean, you can, but probably not like very, uh, I say, obvious. So you you if you put it down like that, you can see the bounce. Not 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 bounce. Uh, how to say? Soggy like, you know, right? That, then like if it's not fully cooked, it's gonna be like bouncy. Uh, if I if I get that right, so yeah. 
This noodle, not fruit. <laughs> Smelling won't tell you shit, hi. <laughs> so I'm putting in my noodles, my thingy, and then I've sliced my up thingy. my steak. I remember no. Thinking, sorry for my fingers. You put steak first, oh. then pork broth. Unbelievable. You don't send the meat <laughs> swimming. Because yeah, that's yours. <laughs> and then I'm dressing it all up. So sometimes you put the chilli into the broth, but for this one... Uh, chilli, okay, okay, I guess. Chilli, yeah. and you want it to be lovely um, and fresh. There's mint in there, isn't I've it? I've mint. The mint's got amazing. Got basil, with it. And I've also got coriander. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you don't have all three, you could mm. just use one of them. Whatever you've like, got. Like, whatever you have. That's you can parsley. Why would you mean one of them? What? Whatever you have, even flat leaf parsley. Oh, yes. Flat leaf parsley. Parsley? Oh my That's god. That's a different ingredient. Did you just say parsley for fur? All Asian people hate you now. <laughs> she British and she devastates entire group of people. I think she's the Margaret Thatcher of cooking. She put in whatever she feel like. Uh, she feel like, put mayonnaise she feel like, oh, meat. It can change to chicken, lamb, beef. Oh, it's uh, vegetables. I can just change to cabbage, spinach, co corn maybe, I don't know. Like, she just think like, vegetable, and just change to any kind. Meat, I can just change to any kind. Noodles, I can change to any kind. And just put everything together, and it's called pho. Dumb. Barbecue sauce in your pho also. Anything go correct? I, yeah. Uh... I mean, this is Monday. Mm. You want this on a it's Monday? It's lovely. I don't want this on I, I don't want that to It feels good on many, many exactly. levels. Exactly. This will yeah. cool any anxiety. Pop the music off. Yeah, it cured any anxiety, correct? But it gives me anxiety. It Uncle Roger want to kill myself. If my life gone, anxiety also gone. Life hack. What the hell, Uncle Roger just watch? Why this shit on British national TV, hi? Damn. Uh, what is this show? PH? What the PH stand for? Pawn hub? Because I think the people on there cook better than this shit. Niece and nephew, Uncle Roger currently in Australia, continuing my tour, meeting so many cool creators here. Nephew Nigel, go eat Malaysian food with Chani on his vlog. And he interviewed Aussie Man Review for Haya Podcast. Go check it out, click the link in the description. Australia is super fun, but I have to say, I don't like your national t-shirt, but it's Vegemite. It looks like shit, and it tastes like shit also, hi. Uh, I think we had those thing. once, and I, I don't like it. Okay, so that's it for this uh, video. I, I, I definitely complain a lot. This is... This triggers me for some reason. So, yeah, and, and uh, by the way, I have long hair, so that's why you see I have a freaking long hair right now. So... Hope I change my my look, you know, one day and looks better, not like a old me, I guess. Uh, yeah. So, yep, as always, thank you for watching, you know, subscribe, blah, 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 follow me, description below, blah, 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 you get it. And uh, I'll watch, I'll just review another video next time, so if you guys like it, just subscribe, alright? And I'll see you guys next time, and uh, peace, bye-bye!